By the time you finish this video, you'll understand what exactly a thermal power station is. You'll understand how coal-fired power stations work, waste energy power stations, gas-fired power stations, and also nuclear power stations. You'll understand how they all work because they're all types of thermal power station. Now, don't get lost. If I talk about power stations like this one here, and I also talk about power plants, don't worry, they're exactly the same thing. I don't know why we call them power stations sometimes and power plants. Generally in the industry, if you're working in the power engineering industry, you'll refer to power stations as power plants. A force is exerted on the blades and this force causes the steam turbine rotor to rotate. When it rotates, it also causes a rotor within a generator to rotate as well. Within this box here, there is a generator rotor. Notice that it's coupled to our steam turbines via this central shaft here. That means that when the steam turbines rotate, the generator rotor rotates as well. So that when the steam turbine rotor rotates, so too does the generator rotor. Once the generator rotor is rotating, we are generating electricity and we can deliver that electrical power via a transformer and a substation to our end consumers. So this is a different type of thermal power plant because we're using gas or natural gas as our primary fuel. We're also generating electricity using a gas turbine and a steam turbine. A gas turbine is essentially a jet engine. There are differences, but if you've seen a jet engine on an aircraft, a gas engine is very much the same. We will use natural gas as a fuel. We'll set light to that fuel. We'll ignite the fuel. And then we will use the energy from the fuel in order to rotate a gas turbine rotor. And once that rotor is rotating in a similar manner to how a steam turbine rotates, we couple it to a generator. You can see the shaft here. It connects the gas turbine on the right to the generator on the left. Here is a nuclear power plant. I'll take a cross section. We've used a bit of color coding here to indicate the temperatures that are present within our nuclear power plant. The heart of every power plant is the nuclear reactor, that is this item here. The nuclear reactor, when it's up and running, will generate as much power as 40 Boeing 747s at takeoff. That is a huge amount of power. Within one year, this nuclear reactor may use 25 tons of fuel. So that's about the same amount of fuel that you can get on one truck. Comparatively to fire a coal-fired power station and to get the same power output as what we have here, you will need 2 million tonnes of coal. Yes, that's correct, 2 million tonnes 